All right. Super cut. Back to where we were. Armature. Yep. Round two. Electric <laughs> Hello. Maybe this time I can avoid getting one shot at the start of the fight. You know, you know, just, nice. just, 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 just to make sure. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm slowly, 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 yes. Yeah, 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 just, you know. Better safe than sorry. Also, yes, Garrus looks like a fucking clown now. <laughs> fucking hoppers. So that's what they call Yeah, can you guess why? Uh, hmm. I mean, could I guess that they hop? What could you do on that? I just saw them Cover first. Let's overload you. Yeah, hoppers and snipers do that. Watch, I can't really get a bead on the hopper. Yeah, that's uh, a bit of an issue. Get behind cover, you imbecile. That's something I'm for you. Well, that wasn't pleasant, that's for sure. Mm, can't you sabotage yet? All you can do is try to out attrition this thing. Yeah, that sounds... A bit more difficult, huh? Revenge of the bully! <laughs> yeah, like, like, don't appreciate being bullied so much. Uh, Overkill's a wonderful ability. So I can see. Perimeter clear. <sighs> that was annoying. Yeah. Yes, they killed the hopper. <laughs> yeah, it, it kept hanging out over there somewhere, and that's where both of them were. Being ah. extremely useful against the uh, armature. Yeah, super useful, not. Oh, well. Down to hatch. Oh, my. And it actually saved at that time, but I'm going to save again. Just to be sure. Just to be sure. I do not want to fight that thing again if I don't have to. Unless I don't have a good thing. <laughs> oh no, I'm being jammed. I wonder why. I have one there. Fast explosives. Hi there. No. All clear. Flop. Anything over here? Sorry, Yank. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Down we go. But to be fair, it could just be the exact same ammo he had before God in Gerona and I would still think he looks Yank. Yeah. Got some Medi Joe. Got some hostiles. Down. 
Is it just what you used to think you were gonna see the blue one? I thought it was the blue one. In yeah. literally every other situation. Also, you can just blame Halo for that one because that race makes me think of the Covenant. Uh, yeah, now that you mention it, I can kind of see it. Turians and the elites. Yeah. And yet, it's they get shapes that make me think of the Covenant. That's, <laughs> that sounds. Well, you know. Uh, The protein ruins might be built to last, but uh, excavation material sure ain't. Hello. Yeah. Can somebody help me? Please? Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped. I need help. Are you okay? What happened to you? Listen, this thing I'm in is a protein security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, all right? How'd you end up in there? I was exploring the ruins when the Geth showed up, so I hid in here. Can you believe that? Geth, beyond the veil! I activated the tower's defenses. I knew the barrier curtains would keep them out. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please! Your mother is working with Saren. Whose side are you on? What? I am not on anybody's side. I may be Benezia's daughter, but I am nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. We just need to figure some way past this know. energy field. Hmm. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. We'll find some way to help you. There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. It's going with the Geth. <laughs> they have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. Heads up! Uh-oh. Okay. Was Krogan Satan's race or no, Rex's race? Rex. Okay. Saren's a Turian with Garrus. Still getting used to remembering a lot of this, right? Eh, we'll get there. I've lost shield! Okay, I guess I'm stuck on this. There we go. Oh. Gotcha. Area secure. Hello there. Hello. I will take that. And this seems useful. Hello there. I'll take those. Thank you. You seem to be getting better at those at least. <sighs> I'm, glad it it I'm glad that it doesn't show up past this game. It's just not a fun mini game. Yeah. I'd actually take the Skyrim block big mini game over it. <coughs> yeah. Mining laser controls. Hmm. Uh. Okay. Nope. Arr. Of course, it would be the last one. Every time. I 
think we, I think we found our way in. Oh shit. There's supposed to be an XP glitch with that thing, from what I've heard, but I don't have the time or patience to even try. Hmm. And the funny thing that of all the things they tried, they didn't think to just just the mining laser. Hmm. How did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. We blasted through with the mining laser. Of course. Yes, that makes sense. Please, get me out of here before more Geth arrive. That button over there should shut down this containment field. Prothean expert. I mean, if she knows the exact button to release her, it's probably more than most now. <laughs> there is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on! I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia is involved? Saren's looking for the conduit. Think fast, Miss Prothean expert. The conduit? But I don't know... What the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA eight minutes. Gonna be close, Skipper. Going up. Oh, no elevator fight. <laughs> Not quite. I think we'll start next. In case you didn't notice, this place is falling apart. <laughs> I see we're going this highway. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. She'll stay with us, thanks. Not an option. Saren wants her, and he always gets what he wants. Kill him. Spare the Asari if you can. Not doesn't matter. Yeah, rock troopers, I need to have played it yeah. Honestly, the shock troopers are bigger than the rats. The biggest threat is the bloody crow gun, though. Yeah, biotics are... For that exact reason. Ow. He's got combat and biotic. So you can just kind yeah. of delete me. Critical mission failure. No shit. I, I still cannot believe all this. Saren's the conduit. What the hell? Hey, at least it auto saved. Yeah. So we just gotta rush through the conversation and hopefully not die this time. Hopefully. Mistakes, mistakes. Whatever it is you want, you are not. Where's the Krogan? There's the Krogan. Biotic. Dead. Nope. Well, then might be a bit of another statement. Oh! Hey, whatever that is. 
game is trying to kill me. I had a weed down the one success there. <laughs> I know, right? Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. <laughs> we almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes. Joker pulled our asses out of there. I think he's earned the right to a few bad jokes. I see. <laughs> It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there. And not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren is do? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. How old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only a hundred and six. Damn! <coughs> I hope I look that good when I'm your age. <laughs> a century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours. But among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. With all due respect, Commander, I have heard every theory out there. The problem is finding evidence to support them. The Protheans left remarkably little behind. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Where do you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right. And eventually, I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? I don't know. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. 
The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. Okay, this isn't helping us find Saren or the Conduit. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit or Saren. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her bionics will come in handy when the fighting starts. It's <laughs> not wrong. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Prothean's true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Go see the doctor. The rest of you, dismiss. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Sure! Let's see, what, see how much they disapprove of my work so far. Patch him through, <laughs> Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. The air is on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? <laughs> hmm. Could just hang think up. You was. Could just hang up on him. <laughs> the Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. Yeah, I figured they'd actually understand that one. <laughs> yeah, at least two of them didn't give a shit for it. I think two out of three is good enough. Yeah, two out of three is better than none. It's also worth noting that Leara, as an Asari, naturally has biotics. Like, their entire race is biotic. Oh. So Rex ain't wrong. Now will you talk to me? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Is this an official evaluation, Commander? Or off the record? Elenka, when it's just you and me, you can consider it off the record. That's a generous attitude. Okay. I think there's something wrong with all this. This Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction, but we can't get back up from the count. Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. The council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but... I hear you. It just seems like a group that's been around as long as the council should see this coming. Sorry if I got too informed. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in Bot. Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. To the kids they hauled in was brain camp. Sorry, hauled in is uncommon. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero. Beats the brain tumor some kids grew up with. Is there some <clears throat> question about how you were exposed? My mother was downwind of a transport crash. It was before there were human biotics, a little after the discovery of the Martian ruins. 
It only gets iffy around 63 when Kinetix was running out of first gen subjects. Until then, they relied on accidentals. A bunch of guys in suits show up at your door after school. Next thing you know, you're out of Jump Zero. Yeah, that's uh, pretty rough. Yeah. Jump Zero is Gagarin Station, right? What's it like? Yeah, that's the official thing. Biggest and farthest facility we had for decades. Right on the termination shot. Outer edge of the solar system. It's where they did all the goose chase FTL research before we caught on to using mass effect fields. It was a sterile research platform when I was there. There were other kids in the same boat, right? At least you weren't alone out there. That's true. We did have a little circle that would get together every night before lights out. We didn't have much to do, though. It was a research platform, and the Canadians kept Jump Zero off the extra night to prevent leaks. Then you must have had plenty of time to get to know each other. Yeah, we'd sit around and bowl every night after dinner, play cards or metal games. There was this girl named Rana who had a little circle crawl around her. She was from Turkey, and her family was very rich. But she was smart and charming as so hell. Beautiful. But not stuck up about it. I think you would like her. Sounds like she was special to you. She was. Maybe she felt the same. But things never felt together. Training, you know. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Rip. Looks like there's more to it than that. the exposures were, it was hard to track down accidentals. It was different, but there were no potentials, so there wasn't a lot of regulation. Anything Kinetix did was gold. I'm not saying they intentionally detonated drives over our outposts, but in retrospect, they were damn quick on the scene. Jump Zero is a long way from home. What was it like? The grand gateway to humanity looks a lot better in the but that's my own baggage, Commander. No bearing on Alenko, there's no regulation that says you can't be friends with your Commander. I appreciate that, Commander. I just don't want you to think that I'm a... a whiner. Besides, I've got my past squared away. After ten, after literally spilling everything about my past. <laughs> Details. Yeah, this well that way. I mean, we asked. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? Just a bit I missed at the time. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. And there's Liara. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth, Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. Do you know why Benezia joined up with Sip? I don't understand it. She was always outspoken about the need for the Asari to become more involved in shaping galactic events. Maybe she thought allying herself with Saren would somehow be for the greater good in the long run. At least I hope so. This hurts you, doesn't it? None of this makes any sense to me. I have not spoken to Benezia in many years, but I know her. And this was not like her. Something changed. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Mm hmm. Rough part of girl. She's had a uh, quite a day. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, that's a word for it. So, we've got Saren on the run. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Good. 
He's rotten. To the core. I could tell as soon as I met him. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. I think I'd like to hear about it just the same. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the Terminus systems. They said it paid well and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open, and he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching. A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. I had a really bad feeling about him, so I got the hell out. Didn't even wait to get paid. Whose ship was it? There was a Volus trading vessel. Big one. Lots of guards. But they were no match for us. What kind of cargo was the freighter carrying? What was Saren after? I don't know. All I saw on that ship was food and medical supplies. There were some basic weapons, but nothing big. If there was anything of value on that ship, I didn't see it. That's why I didn't mention it sooner. That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. Yep, kinda of figures. So long, Rex. Yeah. Shepard. Commander, you have a minute to talk. I keep an open door policy. If you have any concerns, lay them on. All right. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? Mm. Don't mince words, Chief. What's your concern? This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons. That's enough, Chief. You always second guess your superiors? Sir! No, sir. I'm sorry, I was out of line. I'll get back to my duties, Commander. Normally I'm not that harsh with her, but that's actually the easiest way to shut down her trying to romance you. Ah. Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? Not sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. They're family, right? Not everyone has a happy family life. I know, but I'm not gonna bet she's on our side just because Venezia didn't hug her enough. I'll keep an eye on her. Too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. That's impressive. Do you have a few minutes yep. to talk one on one? I'm sorry, Commander. I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. This yeah, I figured. Yep. Sir. You did kind of cancel out the entire... Yeah, like... Uh, I suppose if you choose any of the other options, she'll start referring to you as Skipper, and that's how you know you're kind of... Ninja-manced. <laughs> <laughs> Ninja-manced. <laughs> okay, then. Why did you want to be a CSEC officer in the first place? It's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. Like what? Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice, wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it, too. He was CSEC, one of the best. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the digs after a big arrest. He's taking my resume. 
That's tough. But you'd think he'd be impressed you're going after Saren. My father's a seasick man to the bone. Do things right, or don't do them at all, he says. Things I'm being too rash, too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Saren. He actually taught me how to becoming a specter when I was younger, for the same reasons. You were asked to be a specter? Well, I was targeted as a possible specter kid. Me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the specters. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power, no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No offense. I suppose I can understand his concern. You can. But Saren's not going to play by our rules, c sets rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. Just because you can break the rules doesn't mean you should. I don't need to stoop to Saren's level to stop it. And neither do you, Garrus. I see what you mean, but... I'll think about it. Thanks, man. <laughs> Valuable dialogue. Yup. Because it gives XP. Very important, that. Indeed. That's, uh, that's one way to put it. Oh, hello, Shepard. Are you okay? I don't know. Your ship is amazing, and your crew's been really great to me. Especially your chief engineer. But I just sort of feel out of place. The Normandy runs so smooth, it feels like we're not even moving. And the engines are so quiet. How do you sleep at night? <coughs> silence wakes you up. Back on the flotilla, the last thing you want to hear is silence. It means an engine's died or an air filter shut down. I guess you don't have to worry about that here. But old habits die hard. But it's more than just a silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. Sometimes we don't appreciate what we have until it's gone. That's true. I'm starting to wonder if that's what the pilgrimage is really about. It's given me a whole new perspective on my people and our culture. You know, there's always a few who go on their pilgrimages and never return. I have always assumed something bad happened to them. But maybe they just wanted a different life. You do plan to return to the Migrant Fleet, right? I could never abandon my people, Shepard. I will go back eventually. But we have to stop Seren first. Otherwise, I might not have a home to go back to. I should go. See you later. Well, that's uh, a rather big priority. Yeah. It's nice getting, getting, getting to know the crew's thoughts and feelings. Yeah. Very hearts and minds leadership. Alright. But Yeah, I think it was about time. Um, yeah. Oh, you're a lot of fun. Uh, we'll see you next time.